Good morning. How you doing? Well, I have a couple of questions. I've been looking on the uh, internet, on YouTube actually, and maybe there's no such thing. But you know, usually when I'm at yard sales and stuff, which of course the way the weather's been going, we're gonna have to wait the summertime because there is no spring. Uh, anyways, um. Quite often I find computer monitors, and um, what I want to do, and I don't think there's any such thing, um, but I want to be able to run a composite video signal such as one of these security cameras and I'll be probably this is one of my security cameras that I opened up because uh, it no longer works on night vision and what I think it is is the IR cut filter is permanently in place at night because I don't hear it clicking so I want to be able to run the composite signal into a VGA monitor if I can't do that then I'd have to spend a hundred dollars, which I don't have, on a, um, a like a 19-inch or a 20-inch TV, flat-screen TV, that would have the composite, the yellow jack on the back to go into it. Um, down here on the floor, I have my regular CRT monitor, but it's big, big and clumsy, and I used to have it up here on the wall. And that's what I usually use. And my inspection camera, um, not the microscope camera, but the inspection camera that I bought from Harbor Freight a few years back, has a uh, composite video output. And um, I was always wondering if you can run that directly into a VGA monitor, which would have the 9 or 15 pin or whatever that, jack is on the back there are adapters but I hear pros and cons that, that they don't work you get them from China um, and they don't work or you know right or whatever so I really don't know if you can take a cord this is a composite video cable right here okay now what I've been using is my CRT monitor you see down underneath the tape recorder but it's big it's very large and it takes up half the bench so what I want to do <clears throat> is actually have a um, computer monitor but it has to be small and I've got one in the other shed but it isn't all that bright that I can test stuff like this out besides using my camera so I can see what I'm doing better because this here is uh, BNC now I can probably get an adapter to go to RCA I don't have one so I can test these things out I do know this particular camera here um, no longer works in night vision it's two years old and I only paid like 20 bucks for it I ordered um, and received it last week uh, $15 cameras from China you know um, they I bought $30 cameras they're no better quality than the $15 so uh, if this if I get two years out of them they're fine but that's the first failure I had it's no good at night but it works okay in the daytime. So I want to be able to test stuff like this out without having to drag out this great big monitor, which takes up a good foot in all direct directions, 12 inches deep, 12 inches wide. It takes up half the bench here, and I can't do anything, you know, when it's up here. Whereas if I had a flat screen, I could probably stick it maybe even in front of the air conditioner in the wintertime. And, uh, you know, so I don't know if there's any such animal. So I'm kind of like 
putting this out there. Um, I know that like when we were talking about FireWire and stuff like that, there was a FireWire adapter that would go to USB that that don't work. So I don't want to have the same situation where I'll order an adapter that goes from the uh, VGA and it will accept a composite input. What I want to do is to feed a composite signal, which is what these are, these are analog cameras, a composite signal into a VC, uh, a VGA computer monitor. Now, maybe you can't do that. Maybe you have to run it to a preamp. In other words, uh, like a DVR uh, for a security camera like I got. But running through those, the quality is so bad. Like I can take this camera and hook it to my television composite input uh, in the bedroom. You know, that's a um, CRT television. And it looks clearer than it does on the security um, DVR. So going through a DVR, the quality is lousy. I want to be able to connect this if it's possible, if there's any such animal, so to speak, to be able to connect a composite signal, which is usually one volt peak to peak on the video composite signal. One volt peak to peak, is that going to be enough to drive the, uh, the monitor? I don't really know. I don't know that much about these things. But anyways... This is going to be probably uh, maybe a show-and-tell project uh, in the future. Maybe. I just want to show you some close-ups. And if I can get my microscope camera working and bring my laptop out. It's only a, a 4x3 screen, but uh, I'm not going to worry about a border on each end. I'm not worried about that. And I can show you. You can actually see the, uh, the IR filter when it kicks in and out. In this case, this one's stuck. So what I would have to do in this camera is, under a microscope, take this out and remove the IR filter or get it to stay out of the way, uh, which will mean that without the IR filter, and we're getting off a of subject here, but without an IR filter in the daytime, this camera will uh, look like purplish, um, in other words, your greens will not be green, your colors are going to be off, because the IR filter is not in place. It's needed for daytime use, but it's not needed at night, and it's stuck, closed all the time. This camera is blind at night, that's why I changed it. So I got another one up there that works very well now, because I paid $15 for it on eBay. Because what I want to do is to be able to take advantage of a flat screen monitor. Now, for a few years, I've been looking around, and the only thing I see is uh, an actual TV. You go to Target or Walmart, and you get these um, cheap flat screen TVs. And... That's not what I want here. Uh, computer monitors are readily available at yard sales most of the time. And if I can make one work with a composite input and with an adapter, that would be great. But like I say, I don't really know if they make any such thing. So my intention would be to probably just temporarily mount it right there in front of the air conditioner or it could actually go in front of the variac behind the lamp the lamp there and um, that would be good and can t be taken out of the way when I don't need it so anyways um, that's basically what this question is and we're still waiting for the um, the FireWire um, cable to come in from Amazon. It should be here uh, today, I mean, uh, Mon uh, Saturday or Monday. Um, there was a delay in shipment, shipment for it. 
And um, one of my viewers sent me uh, a cable, but it was it was the wrong one. It fit the FireWire uh, card in the back, but it would not. It was too big to plug into the camera. So uh, I've got the correct cord coming in, so my son is kind of anxious to try out his camcorder. I told him, you got to have to wait. You're going to have to wait. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's it. So that, that, if you have any... Um, suggestions um on something that that you have tried out and works uh if any of you have tried that um i don't want to go buying something that's not going to work because i've seen some videos and the things don't work and um i want to just like i say i want to feed the composite input into a computer vga monitor by using an adapter if there's any such thing. If I need a video amplifier, well, that's a different story. Then I'll probably just scrap the idea and just go about using my big clumsy CRT monitor, which works good. It just it takes up half the damn little bench that I have here. And I, you can see how crowded I am here. I don't have very much room. Okay, that's all. Uh, I think I've flapped long enough, folks. Catch you later on a video on a computer near you real soon.